Coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here's raging ally Aquinta, perennial top 10 contender type, had a main event against Donald Cerrone that didn't go his way. There was a lot of good in that fight for Al, mm -hmm. but candidly, they thought they were going to be able to break Donald Cerrone on the feet, and they were unable to do so. They weren't able to do it, and he was not able to make the necessary adjustments. But I believe in Ray Longo. I believe in Matt Serra, and the next time we see ally Aquinta, the problems that he had in that fight will sure be fixed. They know that with ally Aquinta, you have a guy that has the heart, he has the ability to fix everything, and he will address that when he makes his octagon return. And if you're looking to get $100,000 over asking for your house on Long Island, raging out your Raging out realty. <laughs> And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters are 33 years of age with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 27 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Fontana, California, Bobby King Green! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, 6 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Wong Kong, New York, Raging Al Iaquinta! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Strike there, strong work by Green. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, nice punch there by Iaquinta. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Green's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Hook shot lands. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Ally Equipment. Ooh, what a punch. Yeah. 
Just missed with the left there. Leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then land without the change. Leg, finish the takedown. Great job. And under three minutes now to go in the round. Maya Quintas has got full mount now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Maya Quintas right back to the full mount. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. Stay, stay. He's gonna attack armbar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. in the fight. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Big shots being landed on both sides here. Missed with that right hand. There's the kick, it's blocked. Oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Gotta start raising that guard or this is gonna be the end of it. You gotta start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch and he certainly found the range on that one. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter as we go forward. Well, a big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh! Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice. Immediately gets the underhook. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Secure that takedown and win the Shot to the body now blocked by Green. Keep your hands up. Big power shot there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? His opponent got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to the range because he's taking punch after punch. Position. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. <laughs> Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Ready? Two men Ready? stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Green gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch by Raging Ally of Clinton. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful kick. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Iaquinta. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh! Oh, and he lands another 
punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Straight right hand now just misses. Able to check that kick as well. Green going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Man, that yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice right hand. Just over three minutes to go. All oh, collar tie. Muay Thai plump. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Hook to the body, blocked by Green. Wow. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Round. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Body kick now by Aya Quinta. <laughs> Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Ooh. Lands a good combination. Oh! Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Green goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So 95 total strikes have landed for Ally Aquinta. Well, still connecting on about four of every 10 attempts. 40% the accuracy right now against Ally Aquinta. Got the single collar tie. Straight punch lands. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of... Oh! Oh, he tasted that knockout, right? He tasted that knockout, right? Oh, my goodness. Woo! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bobby! Celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.